Hey, what's up, everyone? This is Lewis here with a Cobra Kai Season 3 ending explained because, uh, you know, some people are going to be a little confused, but if you're a hardcore Cobra Kai fan or a Karate Kid fan, you probably know what's going on, but this is for, I don't know, maybe people in the middle. And look, I'm not a super duper expert. You, some of you may know more than I do, so let's go in this uh, together. I'm going to try to explain the ending, uh, talk a little bit about where the characters are at, where the setup is for season four, which looks to be uh, amazing. So I can't wait for that season. Actually, that season looks like it's set up uh, like it's going to be all out war. But OK, so just so you know, this will have spoilers and uh, Cobra Kai is now showing on Netflix. So there's pretty much no excuse why you can't like stop this video if you don't want to be spoiled and watch the show right now and then come back uh, uh, to this. So I'm going to go rambling all over the place and then I'm going to get to the ending spoiler warning again, the call who did uh crease call at the end. It's, it's not a hundred percent, but it's, I, I, it's pretty much, it is a hundred percent. Uh, sensei crease, who did he call? Who is he calling? Who's in the picture? All right, let's, let's go with, um, the stuff we saw that there's a unification now between, uh, Johnny Lawrence and uh, Daniel LaRusso in Miyagi-Do. They're calling the dojo, uh, you know, it's it's pretty much the offspring or the remnants of th those who have broken off from Cobra Kai because we saw some of the students, they did break off from Cobra Kai now and they're calling themselves Eagle Claw, I believe. Is that the name? Eagle Claw? But anyways, silly name, yes, but at the end, it's really Cobra Kai, Johnny Lawrence, Heading to Miyagi Do and uh, using the the Miyagi um, dojo to train. That's where the they ended up, and we saw uh, Hawk and the rest of the crew go in there because Hawk had a, a change of um, of heart. Right, Hawk saw the light. He was a Sith Lord, uh, so to speak, and became a good guy at the end, uh, going back with it, with his friend. And stuff like that, and, and knowing that um, you know Dimitri, who was his, his longtime friend, he was he did him dirty, and Dimitri was about to get his ass kicked, and Hawk turned. We saw kind of like that evolution coming in, so it's going to be pretty interesting to see in the next season how he's going to be. So we got the badasses of Cobra Kai uh, now with Miyagi Do. So w that's going to set up the new thing. What I'm going to tell you right here about uh, the ending, explain. Uh, uh, stuff like that. We saw that, uh, Tori is still uh, a Sith. Like I would say a Sith Lord with, with, uh, Cobra Kai. So she hasn't changed, uh, uh, much. She's still aggressive. She still has a lot of anger in her great character though. Not, not knocking the character. So she stayed uh, with that after her fight, her defeat to, um, uh, Samantha LaRusso. Cause she did lose, um, to Samantha LaRusso. Now there was a fight at the end at Cobra Kai, right? After the confrontation, uh, at the Russo school. And I got the best part. The call is coming up. So stay tuned. The LaRusso, uh, there was a fight at their house and Daniel had n nothing of it. He went over there. Uh, uh and also, uh, Miguel got kind of like beaten up a little bit. So that pissed off Johnny Lawrence. Johnny Lawrence shows up to Cobra Kai confronts crease. And now, uh, we see that his son uh, is now training and being seduced by the dark side, the Sith Lord of Cobra Kai, uh, uh, crease. So Robbie right now is trying to, he's trying to manipulate the next generation of Lawrence's. So he sees Lawrence, Johnny Lawrence sees himself, um, uh, in, in, uh, Robbie that now this evil guy is trying to manipulate him. So he's not having anything of it. They get into a big fight <clears throat> to the point where like, uh, Robbie gets into it and then he gets injured and then crease being an a-ho comes in and beats up, um, uh, you know, sensei Lawrence with a sigh, uh, and stuff like that. And then here comes John, uh, what's it called? Uh, Daniel LaRusso pissed off because there was a big fight at his house. Then there's a fight with, with, uh, Cobra Kai, uh, the main Cobra Kai guy, of course, uh, what's it called? Sensei crease and, uh, Johnny Lawrence. And not Johnny Lawrence, what am I talking about? Uh, Daniel LaRusso. And that's where people are going to be. Maybe some of you are wondering, maybe. And this is where I'm going to explain is uh, we saw that earlier. He went to Okinawa and Chosen taught him uh, this paralyzing technique because Chosen has actually gone on to train in the, in the arts of Miyagi-Do. And he knows more stu stuff that 
that maybe even Daniel LaRusso doesn't know and probably maybe vice versa. I don't know. Maybe that's going to be touched in the future, but we saw that he taught um, Daniel uh, the art of paralyzing. So if a warrior wants to fight, uh, you take away that, uh, that power from him. So he pretty much paralyzes Sensei Kreese as Kreese is trying to stab him outside the, the Cobra Kai uh, dojo. And then there's a confrontation where they say, Hey, you know what? Uh, he's like, uh, Chris is like, this is America. I have the right to have my dojo. And then, um, Johnny Lawrence is like, not you, you don't have your right. And then they go and then Chris comes out with, uh, okay, let's settle it in a tournament. This tournament is set up for next, um, season. I'm, I'm assuming. So they're going to be settling it and a turn in a tournament. So if you're wondering why, the fight didn't continue. There is a, a tournament coming and stuff. And this is all linked to the phone call at the end. I promise you who's he calling um, and stuff. So there's going to be a tournament. They set that up. Uh, hopefully they play. Uh, you're the best around at the end of that, because uh, honestly, I love that. Uh, I love that song. And I don't think they've played. You're the best around yet. Have they let me know in the comments? No, they haven't. They played in the next season. The tournament will be amazing. So the deal now is if Cobra Kai wins the tournament because uh, Johnny Lawrence agrees to, to fight. Cobra Kai wins. Uh, Miyagi-Do's gone. If Miyagi-Do wins, Cobra Kai's gone. So that's set up uh, they have. So Johnny Lawrence probably confident saying, hey, you know what? Kreese's dojo's done. Most of the kids went to our, our um, dojo. So this is going to be an easy victory kind of, but... I think he, uh, I think he, he counting victory too quickly because in this season we saw, um, and I'm getting to the phone call at the end. We saw uh, the flashback, what kind of like the origins of Cobra Kai, and we saw what we always read about John, and we knew about kind of about John Kreese, Sensei Kreese, is that he went to Vietnam. He um, he was a POW. And at one point, the, this was the legend of Karate Kid. At one point, he rescued um, his his platoon, I guess you would call it, his, uh, his group of guys. Now, before that, we saw that there was a captain. He was an asshole. Um, they were the, the, the Vietnamese, they caught him, and they wanted him. They were making everybody fight each other, and there was a, a pit under, like, where they were fighting full of snakes. I didn't see any cobras, though. Were there any cobras in there? I'm not sure. But anyways, they were fighting in there. So uh, John, Johnny, uh, not Johnny Lawrence, uh, Sensei Kreese and the captain from the platoon fought. Uh, they're uh, kind of, they're supposed to fight to the death. And right before, you know, this epic fight where the captain showed no mercy, he he, uh, he told uh, Kreese that his girlfriend died with a car, uh, a car crash. And Crease was that was the only thing he had at at a uh, um at at his uh, you know back home which is America right so that pissed him off and stuff like that so you start to see the turn um the U S comes in and and, and you know they're, they're gonna they they bomb that camp and that's where you see why uh you know since Crease is a bad guy he he's like you know you start to see him turn he just starts to hate everything but here's the phone call all right. Who did uh, Sensei Kreese call at the end? His dojo's done. Everybody is turning, uh, pretty much turned his back. Robbie's still there. And the guy at the end, who is that guy at the end where, where he releases everybody from the, the camp and he says, I am loyal or I'm loyal to you no matter what, right? Who is that guy? That guy has got to be Terry Silver from Karate Kid Part 3. Who's Terry Silver? Terry Silver is, from what I understand, and you guys could add that in the comments, Terry Silver is um, <clears throat> a rich guy, very rich. I think he deals with oil. I'm not 100% sure. But he financed Cobra Kai. He paid for Cobra Kai dojos uh, for, for uh, Sensei Kreese in the original. So all those dojos were all, uh, the chain was all Terry Silver. So my guess is he called Terry Silver to get backup, financial backup, and maybe even bring in other other student um, students to combat Miyagi Do. 
uh, to let the fight uh, continue. That's what probably happened. Uh, uh, so Terry Silver is probably 100% in the mix. What's kind of weird, though, is that that uh, there was a guy that looked like Terry Silver more than the guy at the end who I don't even think they acknowledged him as Terry Silver yet. I don't know if it was it's hinted it's him. I don't know if they actually named him. But uh, there was a guy that looked more like Terry Silver, the actor from the, the original movie, than the actual guy that ended up at the end. So, oh, also a special note. Could someone uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe the person playing young Crease was actually uh, the actor's uh, son. Uh, Martin Grove's son played uh, young Crease. I believe that happened. But anyways, he may have been doing the stunt double as well at the end of the fight. So that's what I got. Co- end of Cobra Kai season three explained. Um, the dojos unite. Uh, to fight tournament and uh, Sensei Crease is now calling Terry Silver, which opens up another can of worms. <clears throat> Who's going to be the cameos? What's going to happen? And stuff like that. Hillary Swank uh, and, and stuff like that. Still a lot of questions. We have more Cobra Kai videos coming in because we love, uh, we love the community of Cobra Kai. We love talking about Cobra Kai and stuff. And it's my jam. I think the show has a lot of heart. And, and everything so uh let, let's go with that and i hope you enjoy this video don't forget to subscribe nerd out